think anyone's safe. Especially these big companies. The hackers, they can get really, really creative if they want access to a system, my laptop, your phone. And now with AI, they're trying to do this even faster. Try. And that's why our team needs to be on the ball all the time, 24-7. I'm the head of cyber strategy and architecture, and essentially my job is to secure Petronas from cyber threats. And our cybersecurity does that by constantly ensuring that we have the right defenses and capability in place to protect the business. After all, Petronas is an important organization to Malaysia. That means it plays a critical role in our day-to-day -day lives. And minimizing the disruption to this is a core aspect of the cybersecurity team's job. But we do it by making it really hard for threat actors to disrupt our operations, but also by ensuring that we have that capability to respond and recover in case the unthinkable happens. This is the reality for every big business or major organization in any country. Everyone is a target, so you need to anticipate potential threats and put defenses in place ahead of time. I would say my love for gaming and sci-fi, it definitely helps me do my job. Sci-fi is just all about the future, so it helps me imagine possibilities, whether they're good or bad. And gaming, that literally gets me into someone else's shoes. It helps me to see the world from different perspectives. When I chat with other gamers, it's always really interesting to see how they played the same game and tackled parts of it so differently in ways that I would have never thought of. Because at the end of the day, imagination is so important in tech. Cybersecurity is not about fighting technology. There is a person sitting behind a screen somewhere, and we have to be able to anticipate their next move and be much more creative than them. I also do a similar job for Settel, where I serve as the Chief Information Security Officer. And because Settel is an app for customers, that means our everyday Malaysians, it's a priority that we not only protect our systems, but we make sure that our users' transactions are secure from start to finish. We work closely with teams across Settle to make this happen. And one of the ways that you can see this in action is through multi-factor authentication when you're using Settle. It acts as a double check of you to make sure it's really you performing the transaction. Because in cybersecurity, there's actually no such thing as 100% secure. There's always a percentage that we need to be on our toes for. And that's true not just for my team, but for anyone using even a tiny bit of the internet. So another important part of my job is to help people understand how to be safer online. My top three tips for digital security are, number one, verify everything. So if you get something that's unexpected, an email or an SMS, make sure that you call back and contact that person directly. Don't click on links you don't recognize or weird looking things or pick up unknown numbers. Number two, assume that everything online is public. So be careful what you post online. It is so easy for strangers to collect your personal information and then use it against you in some way. And number three, use a different password for every online account. And I know it's a pain, but it is so, so necessary. Stolen usernames and passwords is one of these stepping stones that a hacker will use to do even worse stuff. They can get access to not just one, but other services you use. They will find out more about what you do online. The list is endless. Take care of those passwords. So my family moved around a lot when I was younger. Um, and when I started working, it was the same. I, I was barely ever in one place at one time. So I always had to learn how to adapt to new environments. So yeah, I definitely draw on that to help others transition when they get into new digital systems. As a tech person, I didn't really think I had a chance to work at Petronas, but when their digital transformation started, I saw my chance. A huge company like Petronas doesn't do things by half. So when they decided that they were going to shift into digital, new way of working, new way of operating, it meant that there were going to be so many different opportunities to realize that potential, because this is a changing energy landscape. There's potential in so many different things in operational efficiency, customer service, innovation. I was just really excited to be a part of that. Petronas in my lifetime has always been seen as an amazing place to develop talent in engineering. And my vision now is to build that same space for tech and cybersecurity. So Petronas can be at the forefront of digital too. There's a big pool of talent out there. They just need a place to hone their skills and grow. 
And what better place than this?